how to get into Warhammer 40k as a newbie in 2024? Let's find out. Where's Hal, everybody, and welcome to, to another video. Now, this is a very interesting topic, my dear friends. One that uh, I have wanted to make a video about for quite some time, and it is Warhammer 40k. Now, I have mentioned Warhammer 40k uh, one or two times on my channel. I've actually got a review of the Eisenhorn Omnibus by Dan Abnett on my channel, as well as the first individual volume, which is uh, Xenos. So should you wish to check it out, feel free, my dear friends, go to my channel, look at that search button and go crazy. Now, uh, what I want to talk about today is how to get into Warhammer 40k in 2024 as a newbie. Now, let me explain a little bit of a history first. If you've been following European law for at least a year or two, you know that uh, I have always been uh, a fantasy and science fiction aficionado, and my scope of interest as far as entertainment and fiction is vast indeed. Many of you have started following me because uh, my knowledge of uh, John Ronald Rule Tolkien and his world and his law. But if you go to my channel, you can see videos, uh, you know, like, or oh, it, all over the place, uh, verging from Star Wars, you know, fantasy to uh, comic books, both American and European. Um, but something that um, I, I was never really into, by which I mean that I never really discovered uh, for myself too much, is Warhammer 40k. However, in the last couple of years, I have been discovering older things for myself that have been there for a long time. One of the reasons is that I am not quite satisfied with uh, what is coming out today. And it has been a blessing. People have been complaining and are complaining, quite rightfully, uh, that uh, the entertainment of 2024 and the, in the last couple of years, really, as a matter of fact, it hasn't been as good as we would like to. Uh, yes, that's absolutely true. It's a blessing for me, because thanks to that, I have discovered such glorious things for myself as Warhammer 40k. But of course, um, when you go into something as vast as War Warhammer 40k, or really into any new quote-unquote fandom, um, you will have people uh, telling you not to do so today. Especially people who have been lifelong fans, and people who really are not able to look at things from different points of view. They have got their own point of view. Very often it's an extremist point of view. And uh, that's it. Now, beware of these people. Avoid these people. Do not listen to these people. Uh, specifically, I'm talking about the fact that uh, as far as in any other uh, fandom, quote-unquote, franchise story, there have been some changes and there have been some retcons that have made people uh, unhappy. Uh for example, here we could mention the custodies that uh, were always, always and only men. And just a couple of months ago, years ago, I don't even know, um, the, you know, the, they introduced a retcon in the form of female custodies, which apparently uh, enraged a lot of fans of Warhammer 40k. And so about a half of comments to my videos and my post about Warhammer 40k and how excited I am about it, uh, were, oh, custodies, uh, Gamers Workshop, they have gone woke. Don't support them. There was literally yesterday, there was a guy commenting in my post on social media where I posted that um, I ordered a figure of Primark Dawn by uh, Joytoy, and that I was absolutely excited about it. And they say, uh, don't give money to people who hate you. And I was like, that's a nice way to let me enjoy something new, something I'm excited about. Thank you. Fuck off. <laughs> I'm not going to listen to you. Do you really and seriously think I will listen to what you say? That I will do as you say? Mm, no, 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 no. But... Um, this video is about how to get into Warhammer 40k as a newbie, because I am a newbie, an extreme newbie. I'm like five books in, 
five books as far as Warhammer 40k. What I'm interested in, and there are obviously uh, many many types of uh, Warhammer fans. You've got fans who are playing the game, uh, collecting, painting the models. Then you have fans who are only reading the books, uh, only you know discovering the lore, and so on and so forth. And I belong among the people who... I read the lore, I love the books, uh, I want to discover more and more about it. I, but on the other hand, don't get me wrong, there have been many people, you know, of the different kind who have been very, very, very supportive and who have been recommending things to me. And I thank these people. And so uh, I'm excited to discover more and more books for myself. And I have always been a, an action figure and statue collector. So that's what I am into, you know, like, and there's the, the, there's the Joy Toy Company, right, who are making these wonderful, glorious Highly detailed and highly articulated, quite expensive action figures. And also McFarlane, they have also done a couple. And so, a new territory for me, a new world to discover. What I have discovered is that Warhammer 40k's universe is probably the best world building I have ever uh, like seen, I have ever read about. And I have said that in my Eisenhorn review, so I'm not going to go into depth here. And so my recommendation is for people who want to go and get into Warhammer 40k, but um, who don't want to deal with those red cons and things like that. So my um, recommendation is actually to do my approach, which is get uh, the oldest books you can from, from Black Library. And there's a plethora you can choose from. You can focus on the Inquisition. I started with the with the uh, Inquisition, with uh, the Inquisitor Gregor Eisenhorn, which I recommend to everybody who wants to start with the Warhammer, forty k. You know the the law. I might be recommending something else in five years' time. Who knows? But at the at the present moment, I do recommend Eisenhorn because um, it is like a you know grim dark science fiction detective story which explains everything to you as far as the bigger, vaster law, uh, but it doesn't overburden you with information. So you don't need to know anything about the law at all uh, in order to start reading Eisenhorn Omnibus. Every, every, everything will be provided to you. Dan Abnett is a tremendously great writer. He was able to implement the knowledge of the law in his books but uh, he isn't going to like put too much weight on newbies, so that's like perfect. Uh, so having read Eisenhorn Omnibus, I am now in the middle of the first Horus Heresy book, Horus Rising, and my plan is to read the first three books of the Horus Heresy, uh, like saga, and then see if I want to read more, or if I want to to take a break in the form of. Uh, uh, Caiaphas Kane Omnibus. If I've pronounced the name incorrectly, please do let me know in the comments. So my recommendation is just Google like Black Library books and when they were published and just go through them, uh, the oldest ones, and pick what you think will interest you. Inquisition Ultramarines, Agents of the Imperium, uh, Sisters of Battle. Like, there's a lot. The Imperium of Man. The Emperor. The God Emperor on his golden throne. Be blessed. He protects. <laughs> now, nah, really. Um, <laughs> the Emperor is, uh, like, consisted of a lot of different, like, strata, right? So you've got... You've got uh, the Inquisition, you've got uh, the Navy, you've got the Army, you know, and then you've got, you know, the, the, the Sisters of Battle. And there's like, there's, there's a lot, lot to, lot to choose from. So just go there, Google those things, read the excerpts, read uh, what the books are about, who wrote them, uh, and try to buy like first editions or the oldest editions you can get. It's very easy if you go, you know, to second-hand bookshops. I mean, a lot of those books are sold out at this point. 
uh, on like official websites and at retailers, but there are always secondhand bookshops, right? I've got like dozens and dozens of secondhand bookshops in, in my town, so it's it's really no problem for me to get all the books and go from there. So that's what I'm doing, and uh, I think that uh, it is one of the better approaches. Right, so you are the experts at Warhammer 40k. Let me know in the comments down below if my approach is good and what you think about it, and that will be all. Thank you very much for watching, and I'm out of here.